Good afternoon and welcome to Midday Prayer with Hampstead Parish Church. Today we are over this threshold from ascension towards the expectation of Pentecost. I hope that your ascension day yesterday had a deep sense of God's presence as God is reigning in glory in heaven and Christ's ascension becomes something we take in to our Easter story as it continues towards the gifts of the Holy Spirit in a few days time. We are using the Church of England's app, Time to Pray, and we listen as ever to the church bells to begin our service. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Blessed are you, the God of our ancestors, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in your holy and glorious temple, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you enthroned on the cherubim, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Psalm 93. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has put on his glory and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mightier. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. As it is, we do not yet see everything in subjection to human beings, but we do see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering and death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. We take a moment now to contemplate this passage, that through death the gate of heaven has been opened for us all, that through the reigning of Christ in glory, we are invited to step into that glory. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Let us pray. Loving Father, as we give thanks for the glorification of your Son Jesus in his ascension, and as we look ahead to Pentecost, we pray, Thy kingdom come. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Lord, we give thanks today for your children throughout the church across the whole world. We pray especially for the Diocese of London, for our Edmonton area, its clergy and all its people. We give thanks today and meditate with gratitude upon the immense and solemn prospect of St. Paul's Cathedral spearheading a campaign to remember all who have died from coronavirus. We commend their souls to you, O God. We give thanks for the cathedral and its witness in the world. We pray that every life may be honored and that those who remember and mourn will be comforted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those situations in the world today that urgent need so marks in such deep ways. We pray for the people of Hong Kong. We pray for places where mass refugee gatherings or starvation or war intensifies and amplifies the impact of the global pandemic. Where there is oppression, we pray for liberation today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the grace of the Holy Spirit enlighten our hearts and minds. Amen. Wherever you are and however you are doing today, may the blessing of God be with you. May it be found deep in your heart and the hearts of all who surround you and all who you love. God bless and have a good day. Bye-bye.